have a look at paper two of the AQA GCSE English language. This is the um, second paper you'll take. There's two exams, so this is your second exam, and this is your non-fiction paper. So this is your writer's viewpoints and perspectives. Whereas paper one is your fiction, this one um, and more sort of descriptive writing, this is about viewpoints and perspectives and more persuasive writing we're looking at. So again, the total time for this paper is the same as paper one. It's an hour and 45 minutes and it includes 10 minutes reading time. The total marks for paper two is 80. So again, this is the same as paper one and it, to get a grade four based on prior exam years, again, we're looking at half marks for each of the questions on this paper. So we're just gonna have a look in this video very quickly at how the exam paper is put together. We're not going to go into detail about how to answer each question. I'm going to look at, well, you can look at other videos in order to do that. So this is just an overview as to how you might tackle the questions in what order. We'll look at exam technique in a minute as well. So the questions are set out in the same way in the paper as paper one. You've got five questions and the first four questions are your reading. The difference here is that you've got two non-fiction texts to read and this is the paper where you are likely to get a 19th century text as one of those texts to read. It'll either be, one of them will either be late 19th century or early 20th century. So there'll be quite a big time difference between when the two texts were written and you'll, you'll see that reflected in the language that's used. So, paper, question one. Worth four marks, it's a small question again, so only five minutes on that one. And this is where you need to select four true statements. So you're gonna read through eight statements and select four true ones, being very careful that you're reading them properly. Question two, it asks you to summarize and synthesize, synthesize differences in both of the texts. That's only eight marks, so you're only gonna spend 10 minutes on that one. Question three is your language question. You've got a language question on each paper. This one's worth 12 marks. So the language question on paper one is worth eight. This one's worth 12 marks. So spend 15 minutes on it to do it justice and get as many of those as you can. Question four is the one again where you're gonna demonstrate to the examiner that you've really understood both text and both writers' viewpoints and how they differ. So this one you're offered 16 marks altogether. So you spend 20 minutes on that and you'll notice here that 4, 8, 12, 16 adds up to 40. So that's half of the exam. And your last question on the paper is question five, the writing. And you'll be asked to write either an article or a letter, um, could be a speech. Um, and we'll look at that on a different on a different video. So that's worth 40 marks half of the exam paper, so 45 minutes on that one. Let's have a look now at the order that you should perhaps think about doing these questions in for the same reasons as paper one. You've got an hour and 45 minutes. First five minutes of the exam, when you sit down, read through everything in front of you. Read through the two texts in your source document and read through all of the questions. Then. Tackle the writing first because you, that's the one you don't want to run out of time for. So 45 minutes on question five. And this time it's going to be a piece of persuasive writing. So you want to get your opinionated head on here and put it across in a polite and friendly manner. And we'll look at that um, in more detail. Remember, once you've done question five, again, you've done 50% of the paper. So after that, give yourself a nice easy one. Question one, four marks. You want all of those four marks, so be careful when you're reading through the statements. And then have a look at both texts again and read them really carefully so that you really understand those writers. And have a go at the big reading question, which is number four again. And this is where you'll have to compare the writer's perspective. So 20 minutes on question four. And then you're nearly there. You've got question three, which is worth 12 marks. Do your language question, that's 15 minutes. And then you've only got 10 minutes left. And that's the one where you're gonna do 
question two because it's only eight marks and similarly to paper one I, I recommend doing question two last on paper two because it's the one where students tend to waste most the most time because you're looking at both texts so if you just leave you can't waste time if you've only got 10 minutes that's all you should allow yourself and we'll look at that one and how to do that nice and fast in another video too the um often students say to me that they got confused about question two and question four in the exam because those are the questions where you're looking at both texts so i want you to remember that question two and question four are completely different you need to demonstrate completely different skills and that question four is the important one so we'll look at that in another video um and i'll explain that a little bit more clearly um, but make sure before you go in the exam that you are clear about the differences between those two questions